Welcome to Chandler in Focus. I'm Council Member Kevin Hartke, and our topic of discussion today is the offering of new programs from the University of Arizona in Chandler. My guests are Dr. Paolo Goles, Management System Information Systems Department Head, and Ronald Marks, the Dean of the College of Education. Well, welcome. We're glad to have you join us here in Chandler this morning. My Great pleasure. To Great to be here. So let's start off with introductions. Could you share with your background with our viewers today? And Paolo, why don't you start? Sure. I got my PhD in business administration from the University of Rochester in New York, uh, concentrating in information systems. From that, uh, I took a job at the University of Connecticut, where I started my career. And about five years ago, I came to the U of A to become the department head of the Management Information Systems Department. Excellent. So what programs are actually have been brought to Chandler so far? Well, I, I, we look at Chandler as this uh, very important uh, information technology hub. It's our Silicon Valley, so to speak. So in MIS, Management Information Systems, that's what we do. It's information technology and, and business. So we see Chandler as a huge potential for our programs. Uh, what we want to do here is to offer graduate programs. We want to offer a master's in management information systems and two graduate certificate programs, one in security, cybersecurity, and the other one in business intelligence and analytics. And I believe it, they will be perfect match for, for the companies and the industry and the community here in Chandler. We've been very pleased to see the, the amount of high-tech companies that are moving to Chandler, moved to Chandler, and are considering it. And we were, were honored to take that, uh, that moniker as the Silicon Desert as well. Yeah. So tell us about the student demographics. Who, who is a, a prime candidate or a student that might be interested in the programs here? Paul, well, for, for our programs, uh, we are looking at the working professionals who already have a bachelor's uh, degree. And these are people who are currently working in the information technology area. So we want to, to offer these graduate programs so that they can advance their career. So they will continue to work. So our programs are designed for the working professional with lots of flexibility in how they can take the different courses in the program. So for someone who perhaps doesn't have the freedom to attend U of A, they really can acquire a, a quality and high sought degree here in Chandler are classes related to that. How does this then also benefit the university? Well, the, the university is constantly looking for ways to, to reach out. I mean, in my department, we have a, a top uh, program. The program that we'll be offering here in Chandler is actually rank, ranked in the top five in, in the US uh, by the US News and, and World Report. So we want to extend that reach to this community here because uh, we believe this is where the action in information technology is in the state of Arizona. So it's very beneficial for us to, 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 to have our presence here, to be able to partner with companies that are already here uh, currently and the ones that, that you're bringing in. So we just don't want to be in Tucson doing our own thing. We really want to, to reach out to, to, to the state and to really improve ed higher education around the state. Again, part of the mission of the university that, mm -hmm. yes. that Ron had mentioned earlier. <laughs> exactly. Well, very good. Um, Paolo, talk to me about uh, management information services. What exactly is that? Well, it's a field that uh, is part of, of the business school. We are part of the Elder College of Management. And management information systems uh, puts together information technology and management and businesses. So what it does, uh, we study uh, ways that uh, we can use technology to improve the operations of the company, to improve the decision making of a company or an organization, to make that organization more competitive by processing the data and getting the information to allow the better decision making. We also uh, have a role in, in designing new services which are based on, on technology, services and products. So it, it's the whole uh, putting together technology and business to move the companies ahead. So it, it's, a, it's a very exciting field because it's very dynamic. Technology keeps changing all the time. We keep getting these waves of technology, internet. Now everybody's talking about big data and mobility, social media. So 
we, we keep having this new technology and what we do, we try to understand what's the best way to employ those technologies to, for the benefit of, of organizations. Well, very good. And Paolo, your department MIS, Management Information System, you mentioned is, is recognized as one of the top in the country. You said one of the top five. That's incredible. Tell me more about the department and the, the programs that are offered. Well, the department, we, in the 70s, we actually defined this field of MIS, of using technology, what's coming from computer science, and tying it to business. And since then, we have been at the top. And uh, because we have a uh, great faculty, what we do essentially as an academic program, we create knowledge and then disseminate the knowledge. So we have all the two things together in our department. We have uh, top level faculty who are very good at getting their research funded by federal agencies. So we are very fortunate to have been able to retain those faculty. We are also very fortunate to keep attracting those uh, very good faculty members. And uh, in the process, we develop these academic programs, which are based on excellent use of technology in business. We also have the idea of uh, every program we start, we look at the, the practical aspects, at the real world problems, and you bring those in, into the classroom. So just to give an example, our undergraduate program, people who get the bachelor's, that program is ranked number three just behind MIT and Carnegie Mellon. So we are the number one public university offering MIS programs in the country. The graduate program, the one we are off offering in Chandler, that's ranked number five. So uh, after MIT, Carnegie Mellon, University of Minnesota, uh, Maryland, and, and us. So it's, it's a very prestigious uh, program. Wow, I had no idea that. Yeah, so that it's... Um, Top five program just down the road from, from Chandler, so. So to have such a, a highly accredited program, what makes this program, particularly with U of A, so unique? Well, the, the program that we want to offer here is uh, the equivalent of the, the traditional master's program we offer in Tucson. That program, just to give you an idea, we, we receive 700 applications a year from all over the world, and we're able to select uh, the best 80, 85 students into that program. So we want to replicate that program here in Chandler. And uh, we are bringing the, the, the faculty to teach here, but the, the way that you're going to, to be working here, because of the, the, the target population that we have in mind, we are going to offer a hybrid program between having people here a few times during the semester and complementing that with the online, uh, online uh, component of, of the program. It's going to be run uh, altogether 10 courses, 10 disciplines, and uh, every discipline will, will be offered in the span of seven and a half weeks. So I think uh, we are trying to, to, to design the program in a way that uh, it offers the flexibility to, to the working population here. At the same time, leverage the content and everything that, that we have uh, in the original program for, from Tucson. And a student who is participating in the degrees here, they can get their entire degree here, or particularly in MIS, or would that also require taking some classes in Tucson? No, no, they can get the entire degree here because we'll be offering every course uh, here in, in Chandler, and each course will be a mix of uh, uh, people coming here to teach and uh, complementing with the online education. Oh, very good. Well, if you're just joining us today, my name is Kevin Hartke and this is Chandler in Focus. My guests today are Dr. Paolo Goes, Department Head of Management Information Systems at U of A, and uh, Dr. Ronald Marks, the Dean of the College of Education at U of A as well. And as I stated earlier, I have one graduate from U of A who is an engineer working in a a mining field and I have another son also looking at at going down to the University of Arizona the University of Arizona and he wears his his a hat very proudly these days <laughs> so Paolo just continuing with this vein in addition to the uh, MS MIS degree why I think you mentioned this perhaps already well other than this being the the Silicon Desert, was there other unique uh, aspects that made Chandler such a great fit for this program? 
Well, again, it's it's the what the the, the city is doing here, uh, attracting a lot of high tech uh, companies. Uh, we think that uh, it, it's a perfect fit for, for our program. In particular, this program, we have two concentrations that we are offering. One is on security, which is uh, by far one of the most important topics uh, in the utilization of technology these days. It will never go away. We are always going to have to, to be prepared to, to, to deal with security issues, uh, privacy, uh, confidentiality, everything that goes around security. So we have a three core sequence in that master's program to address uh, uh, the needs for security education, information uh, security education. And the other uh, emphasis of the program is going to be in business intelligence and data analytics. With, with the explosion of data, everybody's talking about big data, data coming at companies from all kinds of, of sources. It's very important to be able to be, organize the, the, the data sources, manage the data, and, and more importantly, get the information that you need and the knowledge that you need out of the data. That's what we call uh, data analytics. So these two components, I think they fit very well the profile of the high tech companies and the innovation hub that you have here uh, in Chandler. And they're very excited to be able to, to be doing these programs here. Well, very good. Well, for, for us, uh, as a graduate program, we need a bachelor's uh, in any field, not exactly information technology, but uh, we expect that uh, people who are currently working in IT would be the, the, the candidate. So we require a 3.0 GPA at the bachelor's level and the letters of uh, recommendation. To apply again, we can, they can go to our website. We have a specific website for Chandler, which is www.misonline.edu slash Chandler. Uh, if they didn't memorize that, they can go through the website, MIS department, that they'll find it, find it there. But it's a very simple application. And uh, we are going to start our program in March. So we are, we are taking applications uh, right now. And Paulo, I assume really your challenge is just doing what you do, which is getting the word out to It's getting the, the word out, uh, starting a new program and ramping it up. We need all the help uh, we can get in terms of promoting it, advertising it. So I really appreciate the opportunity to be here talking about the program. Hopefully we'll be able to energize some of these IT professionals there to, to come and, and start taking our, our program. Well, very good. Paul, how about yourself? I'm very excited uh, to start this program. I hope that this will be just the tip of the iceberg. There are lots of other things we can do with Chandler, with the high-tech industry here, partnering more closely with the companies that are already here, helping out in any way we can. So I'm very excited about this.